Hey guys, this is Jen from From Head to Toe, and today I wanted to review a product that has been kind of going crazy all over the internet and in the blog world, and that is the Revlon Lip Butters. I'm sure you've already seen some reviews about these, but I wanted to give my two cents. Right off the bat, I absolutely love these lipsticks. Like, super, super crazy, crazy love these lipsticks. They're exactly my favorite type of lipstick, meaning that they are medium sheer but can build up to being opaque and they're super moisturizing and glossy. I tend to love these kinds of lipsticks even though you have to apply them more often. Like these probably only wear two or three hours, but I really love them better than traditional lipsticks because of the feel. You don't feel like they're too heavy on your lips and they don't suck the life out of them. I think that's my pet peeve about lipsticks in general. When they get really dry and almost like waxy feeling where they, they feel like they're pulling at the skin. These are not like that at all. So I kind of picked up a little collection a few weeks ago. And um, I thought I would share them with you with some swatches and everything. Another thing I want to mention before I go into the swatches is that the reason I got so excited about these is I was really, really hoping that they would be a dupe for my old favorite, like my old favorite HG lipstick that I would always splurge on once in a while because they were really expensive and that is the Dior Addict High Shine Lipstick. Now these are discontinued lipstick. Dior Addict does have a new lipstick that I've heard is similar but a little bit more pigmented. I have not tried those yet so I can't compare exactly to see like how they compare to the Revlon ones. But um, if I give you a little swatch, this is the old High Shine. Can you see how shiny and semi opaque it is? Like there's some color, it's kind of buildable. but. The formula of the Dior Addict High Shines is very, very buttery, very moisturizing, very shiny, and I just love the look. It makes your lips just look nice and plump and natural, like you're not trying too hard to like be covered in lipstick. So I would say that the new Revlon ones are totally a dupe for these. Like, let me just swatch this color, which is my favorite. This is um, number 025 Peach Parfait. Here on the left, or yeah, my left, your right, is number 346 Dior Addict High Shine Cor Sensation Coral. And then right here is this Revlon number 025 Peach Parfait. And they're not dupes for color necessarily, but the formula is pretty much spot on. They're like pretty much exactly the same. And that's wonderful because like I said, these Dior ones, which were my absolute favorite, were discontinued. So like I just uh, was so excited that these came out. So let me just go into doing the swatches. And as I'm doing the swatches, I'll give you a breakdown on how these are packaging and, and all of that. So without doing needing to do a swatch really on my lips right now, I'm already wearing the number 025 Peach Parfait and it's just a very natural, everyday, slightly peachy color. Um, the actual color that I swatched on my hand, it has a little bit of golden shimmer to it, but not the kind where you feel any grittiness on your lips. It just feels really creamy and smooth. And this is a color that I grab for the most out of my collection just because it complements any eye makeup look. You can have a really heavy smoky eye or a really natural eye and it just works for every day. So I love this. This is my favorite color. So here's the packaging. It had a little sticker like this and this little tube where it says Revlon at the bottom and it's a little metallic tube. It goes on like that and snaps at the bottom and it has a nice snap to it. Like it, it feels really secure, it's not going to twist in your purse or anything. And the packaging has the nice quilted look which is very similar to the uh, Revlon Colorburst lipsticks, I believe. If I can show you a comparison, but look, the packaging is actually really similar. It has the same sort of angled, flat bullet and the same metallic tube. Yeah, they feel really similar. Here's a size comparison. 
Obviously the Dior packaging is a little more fancy. No qualms about that though, because this is like way more expensive. It's like 20 some dollars, like maybe 26 or something. They were really, really expensive and I could only buy like one at a time because they were just crazy. But these, there's no smell to it, which I think is awesome. It's really similar to Japanese makeup where it just has no smell, which is fantastic for me because I'm not a big fragrance person. So that's number 025 Peach Parfait. Okay, so the one I just applied is number 45 Cotton Candy. The packaging is just like this, right here. And this one is a pale pink that has a little bit of like a golden pearly sheen to it. And it is a little bit on the cooler end, which works really well if you're doing a smoky eye or a darker eye. Um, if you're like a really girly girl, I think this is a perfect color for you. Uh, this is actually the first one that I picked. And at first I was a little bit disappointed because I wanted it to be more like the Peach Parfait. But I think after having both, I really like how they're a little bit different. So if you like the light pink colors, and maybe like the opaque pinks are a little bit harder for you to pull off, you might want to try this one out. Alright, so this next color is number 90 Sweet Tart. Here's the packaging. And I love this color. This seems like a very summery color to me. I think it really brightens up the face and I would probably pair this with more of a neutral eye because the lips are kind of a stronger pink. It's almost like a, an orchid pink. Not quite like loud, crazy, hot pink screaming fuchsia, but somewhere in between, like, I think if you wore it a little bit more sheerly, it could be a little more natural, but in general, it's kind of like a punchy color. I mean, it's called Sweet Tart, so I would expect it to be a little on the brighter side, but I really like it. It's a cute color. <laughs> Here's a hand swatch right here. Okay, so this color is number 50 Berry Smoothie, and I like this as another everyday color. I would say if you're on the younger end, you might not like this color as much because it's more of like a mature everyday color. Um, but I think if you have darker skin tones, this color would look really, really flattering. I personally really love this color. I don't think it looks too mature on me or anything. I would probably wear this with like any eye makeup look like if you do a darker eye I don't think it's too dark that it it contrasts too much and if you have a lighter eye then it'll make the lips really pop but it's almost like um it's just a medium nice neutral pink and it's a uh, just a really flat color it's definitely a little more neutral and purple than sweet tart it's the one down here so this is number 75 Lollipop, and this is definitely one of those colors that is starting to be in the group where you have to be a little bit more careful when you're applying because it is very, very pigmented. It reminds me of some of my NYX lipsticks, like the, the Black Label lipstick. I can't remember the name of it, but I have one that's this kind of like purpley orchid fuchsia color. Uh, this one, I, I love using it instead of a red lip for a, like an updated retro pinup kind of look. And it really just brightens up the face. It looks fantastic in photos. And just for every day, if you wanna be a little bit more punchy, I feel like the formula of these is a little bit easier for, for the regular person to wear. So I really love this. It's number 75 Lollipop. It's obviously much more pigmented than the ones I showed earlier. There's a swatch on my hand right here. So this shade is number 15 Tutti Frutti. As you can see, it's a medium opacity orange color, which I think will be perfect for the springtime, especially for those of you who are really hesitant about oranges. If you really don't want to use a heavy opaque orange, this is just a really cute color. I personally love oranges, and I think they work, especially with my eye makeup right now, with the green, I think it works really well. But it just warms up the face really nicely. Um, it is a cream color, and I'll give you a little hand swatch. It's this orange one right here. Tutti Frutti. So finally, I wanted to share number 70. This is number 70 Cherry Tart. So I wore this in another video and I'll link it right here so you can go and see what it looks like. In the other video, I just did one layer. Here I layered it a little bit heavier, which is still 
a pretty sheer red. So if you're hesitant about wearing reds, I think this is a really perfect starter red. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Lancome La French t Touch Touche Absolute lipstick that I bought in my latest haul, which I actually am wondering if I'm going to return it because I love the Revlon one so much. My hand swatch is right here, and I think it's a little bit of a, hmm, I would call this a pretty medium red. Just for comparison, this is the Lancome one, and then right next to it is the Revlon. I really honestly can't see much of a difference. It's like maybe slightly more opaque, and I feel like it's a little bit, little, little, little bit cooler. I mean, on the lips, it pretty much looks the same. I did find that upon initial application, they both feel really nice and moisturizing. But the Lancome one actually dried out my lips after a couple hours, so I think I'm gonna have to return my little splurge purchase because I have this one that I love so much. So, I mean, that just goes to show you money doesn't buy you everything in terms of like what you really like from a product. So these, they wear really well in terms of moisture. They don't dry my lips out after, you know, wearing them for a few hours or whatever. They pretty much wear exactly the same as my old Dior Addicts. It's like the same thing, plus there's more colors. And I will say that the darker ones are definitely more opaque than the old sheer lipsticks are. Okay, so sorry if the lighting changed, my battery died of course. But since I already finished swatching, I guess that's okay. Just wanted to do a final recap other than this one, which is the long comb. Here are the swatches of all of the lipsticks that I showed you earlier. They're very opaque, they're very nice. I love them to pieces. Um, I would definitely watch for a sale. I got mine from CVS and uh, when I bought mine, they were like buy one, get one 50% off, which I think is actually going on this week, but check your weekly mailing thing to see. I I like CVS a lot, but sometimes Walgreens and stuff like that also has good deals. I think I've heard they're also at Target and I will bet you that by the by the beginning of next year, they'll probably be in like Walmarts and everywhere and it'll probably be even cheaper than they already are. I want to say they're under $8 a piece, like seven something. But if you get them on a good deal, then they can obviously be cheaper than that. And um, there's always like coupons and stuff like that floating around. So you can't say that about the Dior Addict lip lipsticks. So I'm super stoked about these. I still plan on going like later today to get even more color. So if that does happen, I will have additional pictures and everything on my blog, which you can check out at fromheadtotoe.com. If you have any questions for me, you can always ask me on Twitter. That's twitter.com slash fromheadtotoe. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe up there. Oh, excuse me. Please subscribe up there and like and favorite down below. This is Jen and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.